I was there were some days I was getting up and I was like I don't know what I'm doing today I don't actually have a set thing to do and it was just leaving me a bit kind of close where we are so So I've been lucky that I've still been able to go into work over lockdown so that's much as I complain about it it's been good to have that routine and just like making sure that I'm checking in with people and people are checking in with me just trying to create a support network around you has definitely been something to keep you going. I've been quite busy I've been working in the support hubs for the past four months or a half so that's been keeping me busy but see that exercise, going out my bike, going out walks, that's been great. Like neighbours who maybe can't walk for dogs, I've been doing that kind of thing, you know, just out and about. So I was shielding through lockdown, so it was slightly different for me. Um, oh, that must have been really difficult then. Yeah, um, especially used to having been so busy as well. Um, but I think I was just trying my best to be going walks. Um, I've got horses at home as well, so that was a big factor for me. Um, and I live out in the countryside as well, so that made it a bit easier. There was quite a lot for me to do, but I did find I started making sort of plans for um, the week, um, just like little tasks like I'm going to clean out this cupboard, um, just so I had a plan because I think being making That's plans. Sweet. Yeah, yeah, so kind of rituals, routines, that yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, they are. They. And I think when you're not at school, that kind of thing is even more yeah. important, or college or wherever, you know, I think that is important. Yeah. yeah. A lot of my friends live like all across Scotland, and so I've not seen like any of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got like two yeah. friends that I've seen. Yeah, it's hard being apart. Yeah, it's hard being apart. Yeah. One of the issues has been uh, f uh, that I've been aware of very much has been bereavement. Mm -hmm. um, people um, being bereaved by f all sorts of reasons, um, but not being able to grieve or or um, have proper funerals or that kind of thing. So I think there's there may be an impact. I think that's particularly difficult as well for, for young people. Yeah. I think the kind of the transition recovery phase of COVID, like the going, the start and the going back to normalities, where the emphasis is really going to need to be put on it. Because um, I personally yeah. can see there being maybe pandemics the wrong word, but mental health wise, that that's going to just be a huge, huge issue yeah, that we're going to have to tackle more so than ever, yeah. just with folk struggling with the isolation side of it and things mm -hmm. as well. I think just getting to actually see people again, like face to face. Yeah, actually communicating with people. Probably going back to school next week. It'll be quite good just to get back into a, a routine. Yeah, just looking forward to having stuff to do yeah, and hopefully in a few weeks time we'll be able to get out and you know, get into the office and stuff. Just getting that further step closer to normal, getting back together with people and socialising again. The the couple of meetings that we have done, socially distancing and whatever, are, have been fantastic. And the the feedback I've had from other staff members is is excellent. You know, just on what it's done for the their mental health mm -hmm. and their well being at that, that time. Mm -hmm. uh, so I more of that, please. That's, that's <laughs> I was the one that wrote the 13 ways to help a friend that's struggling and then we got to do the um started discussing how we were going to plan it how we were going to animate it i think that was a really good thing for us all to discuss like what we pictured the animations looking like and then the voiceovers as well were great but making sure it was voiced by local young people added like a sense of like made it more community-based, I think. Finding out that your friend is struggling and maybe having suicidal thoughts can be a nerve-wracking situation, but you can help. There are many ways that you can support someone, and in our 13 Ways animated series, we'll be sharing some to keep in mind. These are not the only ways, and you might have some of your own, but a good place to start is letting your friend know you are there if they need you. 
and remember, even if you're not a close friend, you can still support someone that you believe could use your help. I think some of them definitely seemed like more relevant than others. I know I was trying to push it out at the start of lockdown because that was something that came up a lot at the start of lockdown was like because like we sort of a lot of people have gotten used to it a bit more now but at the start it was very mm-hmm. new and it was mm-hmm. very troubling but obviously things like like distracting a friend obviously that can be done through zoom calls or whatever but it doesn't always have the same impact as like some of the things we suggested which was like actually go to the house and say right we're going to watch a movie we're going to we're going to go play some sports or that yeah. kind of thing if the messages are the same but how you do that is a bit different yeah 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 yeah. i think definitely the whole checking in on folk um has become a whole lot more prevalent obviously there's always been that kind of the chain mail statuses in facebook like i'll bet five of my friends wouldn't share to check it or whatever um but no i think that's probably one of the most one is that just the checking in then it strikes me that um we're all getting that little bit older we're that much more familiar with it but there'll be young people coming through who aren't familiar who don't know about it and that we need to keep keep those messages uh, strong for people so uh, hopefully we can we can do that it's definitely something that we need to adapt and take forward uh, and let you say get that bigger push out there again and just make it seen and heard if you or your friend are struggling Please visit young.scot forward slash 13 ways for more advice.